Putin News Now. The president of Algeria is currently in Russia for a state visit at Putin's invitation. According to the Algerian government, President Abdelmajid Tebboune has begun a three-day state visit to Russia at the invitation of Russian President Vladimir Putin to strengthen relations of friendship and cooperation. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Authorities announced on Tuesday that Algerian President Abdelmajid Tebboune would begin a three-day state visit to Russia on Tuesday to strengthen relations of friendship and cooperation with the country at the invitation of Russian President Vladimir Putin. The presidency of Algeria released a statement saying that Tebboune would be attending an economic forum in St. Petersburg this week. Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, visited Algiers in May of last year at Putin's invitation to strengthen military, economic, humanitarian, and other ties between the two countries. A number of Algerian news outlets have voiced their disapproval of the trip in light of Russia's involvement in Ukraine. The Maghreb Emergent website voiced concerns about a possible backlash from Western countries on Monday, writing, The timing is not at all appropriate as this visit by the president could be understood as a bias in favor of Russia in its conflict with Ukraine, whereas officially, it has a position of neutrality. Tebboune addressed the topic in his final public television interview last month. Russia is a friendly country that helped our revolution and with which we have historic political, diplomatic, and economic relations, but we also have good relations with the countries of the European Union and the United States, he said. With its long-standing ties to Russia, gas-rich Algeria is in a precarious position. Since the war in Ukraine has increased European countries' desire to lessen their reliance on Russian energy, Algeria has become an increasingly attractive alternative. The country in North Africa is now Italy's primary energy provider, surpassing Russia. Russia has been a longtime provider of military hardware to Algeria. It is believed that a Ukrainian drone or sabotage attack caused a massive explosion at a Russian oil refinery. Images captured during the incident showed flames and clouds of toxic black smoke rising from the Krasnodar factory. Just 80 miles to the southwest on the Black Sea coast is Vladimir Putin's famous one billion pounds clifftop palace, complete with underground bunker, pole dancing boudoir, and vineyard. With three villages freed and one of Putin's top generals killed in a missile attack this week, Ukraine is ramping up its counter-offensive, and now comes this major blast. The Kerch Strait connects the Russian city of Krasnodar in the south to the annexation of the Ukrainian peninsula of Crimea. It serves as a vital artery in Putin's war machine and a distribution center for the occupation of Crimea. According to local reports, more than 130 firefighters responded to the blaze at the diesel processing facility at the Krasnodar oil refinery. This week, the anti-Putin partisan group Freedom of Russia Legion also hacked into radio broadcasts in the Krasnodar region. Putin's war criminals in Crimea would be destroyed, but the civilian population would be safe.